Hi guys, it's Steve from SEO Link Robot. In this video, I'll go through the Web 2.0 poster. As you can see, we've opened the poster up, and within this module, as you can see, we have the current campaign preloaded. We can change campaign using the drop down, as you can see. Along the top, we have a number of options. The Add Web, Web 2.0 URLs option is once we've generated some articles and posted them to the Web 2.0 sites, any URLs that have been created, we can add these to our URL list by clicking the Add Web 2.0 URLs. This is particularly useful when we're creating links to our tier sites. So we could create a set of links to our, our main site and remove these two from the list, click add web, web 2.0 URLs and it will add our tier URLs which we can additionally link to. Within this module we, we can create web 2.0 accounts as well if we wish. We select create accounts, the accounts are created. In the spinnable articles section, we can either paste in our data or we can actually find the data via the find article in the toolbar. We add spinnable syntax in these fields using the ident sims or we can right click on the field and choose which field we wish to insert the spin tax into. For example, this is a test article that we want to have spun. And we can do the title text. Let's find the synonyms and as we see depending on the level of synonyms and quality we set will depend on what the spin tax is which we actually get within this field. If you do the add and sims it does all of the fields. You can also add spin tax within the description field as well using the identify and insert sims description. So we will find an article. The article keywords by default are based on the keywords in your keyword list. So we'll do find article. As you can see on the screen we can download articles from five directories which we'll choose all five. We'll leave them as they are. We can choose to download up to 20 articles per site but I'll just do the one, then find articles. It goes and finds the articles on the site, but it finds one article for each keyword. So article base has one for keyword one, keyword two. If it can't find any articles from that site, you won't see articles listed in the list. You got one, two, three, four. So article Ali has actually found no articles. We'll download, we'll download them all. Select all and download selected articles. Once downloaded, we can view the content to see which is best for our needs. With script articles, we may need to rewrite some of the data in the articles before we spin it. So we'll check that. Like in this article, we've got extra spaces and a few other things we would need to go through and tidy up. Done that one. Obviously with this one, if we took this one, we'd have to add in spaces and tabs. 
So we will choose this one. Note, when we export a single article, the first article that's been selected is the one that gets exported. So we export selected articles. As we can see, it's added the article to our spinnable articles section. And within here, this is just a, a demo. I will just tell you this. It's and we'll do ident sims and we'll spin this. As you can see, that's been spun. It's been spun. And we can check the the word count after it's been spun. So the output itself, we can test the output here. And we can do a word count, which does five spins of the article and takes the the average count so that the average word count is five three seven words which is which is good and also preview our articles in the browser to see how they look in the browser you can also add in HTML within the body if you for example want to pitch it in some of the sites support embed tags for video some don't, so you can add these in at this point. So now, if you actually want to post, as we can see, you only created several sites. So those sites in white are the ones we can actually post to. We can, if you wish, add footer links to the articles. What this does, it takes a random URL from a URL list and a random keyword and it creates footer links based on those. We can also submit RSS feeds directly from the screen for any sites that we post on. Same with social bookmark. We can, t we can take any URLs that get created during the posting process and automatically bookmark these sites. If any sites require captures you can also choose which capture service you wish to use. For example, the Brave Journal requires captures when posting. So we'll choose WordPress, the same journal, and gather. So we choose M3, simply do start posting. As you can see, we've got separate windows being used for each posting. As you can see that if you post it, so I'm posting together. This will be try. As you can see, uh, it's been posted this time. And we have three articles which have been posted. And these would have been auto bookmarked. And these RSS feeds would have been auto submitted. The other thing we can do with our articles is add in our URLs. We can, if we wish to create a linked site, such as a link wheel, you can add in what's called a random tag. This random tag takes the last posted URL and creates the linked anchor text for that URL. So for example, if we wanted a link UK search engine, we simply right click, insert last link tag, and the HTML has actually been inserted. We can also create a random link tag, which recurses through the URL list and posts 
to your site based on the URL list. So, for example, if we have one random tag on, for example, flexible campaigns, what happens is if we post with three sites. The first site to be posted to will have the main URL link. The second site will have link two. The third site will have link three. This way we can create a link pyramid structure for our links. We can add them, if we add them two random link tags into our article, this actually staggers the links. So in article one, we would have that link first, that link second, in article two, on site two, we'd have these two links and on site three we'd have our third link plus our first link again. This way we can create cross-link pyramids. You can also click on our links to open the site to test the link itself. We can export the log which exports this post log or we've got an error log if we get errors. And that is our Web 2.0 poster.